I have a Pixel 6 and I've been getting notifications from Google Play saying that my account storage is full. I'm seeing the same type of messaging in other areas of my phone, like when I go to view recent photos. Today I'm going to show you how I went about resolving this issue. It used to confuse me why I was out of space because I always removed photos from my phone by moving them onto my PC. But what I came to understand is that every time I take a photo on on this phone, a copy is saved on the inside of the phone, and a duplicate copy is saved on Google's servers as a backup. Even if I remove photos from my phone, they stay as backups on the servers. As time goes on, the backups take up more and more space until that space is full. In my case, it's 15 gigabytes of backup space. Once someone maxes out that space, they get the notifications you saw moments ago. I've been using the word photos, but the same applies to videos as well. Within those messages, Google tries to get you to buy additional storage, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and delete those photos and movies directly from the backup storage. To do that, I'm going to open up the Photos app, and within the warning message, I'm going to tap on Manage Storage. And that'll bring me to a screen that has these categories on it. If you didn't have that warning message, you can get to these categories by tapping your avatar in the upper right. And then tapping the three dots here. And there's the categories. Looking at them, it's obvious that the large photos and videos category is taking up the most space. So I'm going to tap on that one. It's now showing all the photos and movies it has stored on the backup server in that category. And it has sorted them so that the largest files are on top. I'm going to tap the first thumbnail and that causes a check mark to appear next to that video. That means it's selected. Then I'm going to go down the list and select all the other ones I want to delete from the server. Actually, since I want to delete all of them, I'm going to use the shortcut in the upper right and select them all. Before I complete the deletion, I just want to point out that you can do the same process on a PC as well. For me, I just open up Google and click on my avatar on the top right. The one that belongs to the same Google account I have on my phone. I click manage your Google account and then manage storage and then clean up space. And right here under clean up suggested items is the category for large photos and videos. I can click review and from there I have an interface for backup deleting which resembles the one I have on my phone. Back to my phone I have all the items selected and I'll tap move to trash. It's asking me to confirm which I'll do. Now it has congratulated me, and it's giving me the option to do the same for screenshots as well. But I'm going to tap the X in the top left corner to close this message. And that brings me back to the categories again. It's still showing the 11 gigabytes of large photos and movies, but I think that's because the screen has not refreshed yet. Either way, I can jump to the other categories and do the same removal. After I do all that, if I exit the Photos app and re-enter, I can check to make sure the photos have been deleted by tapping the avatar in the top right, then the three dots, and now I can see that just about everything has been deleted. But somehow the large photos category is growing again. That's because the phone is now backing up the photos I have stored on my phone. It could not do that before because the backup storage was full. I really don't want to bother with backing up stuff moving forward, so I'm going to turn off the automatic backup. Once again, in the Photos app, I'm going to select my avatar and then select Photos Settings. The very first setting at the top is Backup. I'll tap on that. And then I'll tap this switch right here. And with that, I'll never have to mess with these backups again. Of course, that's my personal preference. You may want to think twice before turning off that feature. If you found this tutorial useful, please leave a like. Thanks for watching.